At first, there was nothing. And then there was a bang. Now, disregarding the obviously stolen uh, intro there from the universe from the History Channel, today is going to be interesting because I'm going to be recreating the creation of the Earth in Universe Sandbox 2. So, I will be simulating something that creates this simulation. Inception. So, let's start. So, we have to start with something that resembles... We have to start somewhere. So, we're going to have to start with the sun, because I've already proven it would take way too long to make that naturally. <laughs> and then we need a bunch of asteroids and minor things. So, let's get those. Do 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 do. Everywhere. The thing about these is these are what is going to make up. These are what is going to make up the solar system and that's kind of important for earth uh, i think that's a good amount to start we're also going to turn off trails <laughs> where is trails Trails. Is there a button to turn? Clear trails, control T. There we go. Okay. Oh no, that just gets rid of the ones that were already there. Toggle trails is T. There we go. Okay, so at first we have our amazing, um, tons of tiny little asteroids and stuff. And now if we were to speed this up, realistically, we would, well, let's artificially do this. These things would collide. And through the collisions, they would get bigger over time. We don't have nearly enough to actually do this, so let's skip ahead to the next step in the formation of the Earth. Okay, so we are with the sun. Uh, okay. So, next, we have a bunch of little dwarf planets that have formed. So, let's find minor. Ah, uh, that's just random. Random small moon will be good enough. Or just random moon. So, here's our planets and some that didn't end up actually surviving. So we're not gonna bother um, naming any of them except for Earth, which this will be. This will be Earth. Except we've gotta kind of change this. Oh, it's just too close. Okay, here we go. This would make a good. One. So at first, because of um, all of the ridiculous amounts of things that were hitting. Getting battered by asteroids like every day. Um, it was very warm on these planets or planetoids, and it stayed like that for quite a while. So yeah, let's let's keep adding mass to this. Do -do -do. And let's just counter, well, factor in thousands and thousands of years of that. 
actually billions of years of that. Bit of a difference. And then we get to the point where we are about the size of Earth. And let's go here. And a little bit bigger. Uh, there we go. Close enough. And then over time, we'll, we'll just name this Earth. Earth. There we go. So look at that. Nice, hot, molten Earth. And then speed up time and let it cool down. The earth is pretty warm right now. And it's starting to cool. So there is earth cooling. Because, I mean, it's getting to the point where there isn't as much stuff hitting it. It's been long enough that the radiation on the inside isn't heating it as much. So now we have a solid crust. But all is not well because, in theory, no one really knows if it's true or not. But something about the size of Mars. Uh, here's Mars. So we'll just use Mars. Hit this uh, primitive Earth. And it didn't hit it completely. It kind of more of grazed partly, and then it got absorbed. <laughs> but all the stuff that flew out from this began to circle the Earth. So one second. So we had all this stuff going around. And that stuff, all of that debris, slowly but surely, actually we can make this look a lot better, here we go, add ring, um, what's a good one, hmm, little that's not what I wanted but and all these pieces of debris collided and became the moon yes so let's quickly switch to that time now so we've got um we've got the Sun now and then we've got it. We'll just use the moon and we'll just make it a bit bigger. I lost it. That's why we turn trails up. Never mind. Let's put Mercury down. Okay. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Quite, quite a bit bigger. <laughs> so now we've got it the size of Earth. We don't have it in the right spot though, so let's move it out. And auto orbit it. Auto, what's the auto orbit thing? There's a lot of stuff here, but nothing we actually need. Ah, here we go. Auto. Let's see if this cools down like we want it to. We're still way too close. Way too close. Here we go. Let's see if this is good now. How warm is it? It's cooling down. It's 
actually almost perfect. Let's change this a little bit. I think the higher this is, the worse. So we're going to turn that that way. And it's almost stable. Good enough. So let's name this Earth. Okay, so at this point we've got what will become Earth. Oh, pressing the wrong button there. And then we have the moon around Earth. Starting to get kind of familiar. Cool, and we are going to make this right. Orbital 260. Oh, the wow, that's actually really close. Um, okay then. Um, where is the rotational period? Yeah, we're going to make that. There we go. So now this is very Earth-like, and then. It cooled down enough that there could be water and all that good stuff. So, where's materials? I'm killing this. Not in a good way. Okay, we have... Oh! Bit too much water. Look at that, it looks just like Earth. <laughs> Great. It's beautiful. And that is a very interpretive <laughs> example of how Earth was made. <laughs> yeah, this isn't totally accurate. I tried to do it in a game, <laughs> but good enough. And then. There it was, Earth. Yep. Thank you for watching. If you want more things like this, uh, then, wow. Then I applaud you because this is pretty um interesting. <laughs> Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, blah.